the other thing is really choosing the right puppy for you and this is again a mistake a lot of people make and I understand why at sort of four weeks of age if you go and see a litter or whenever you go and see a litter you get the pup that chooses you and it bowls over all the other puppies to get to well, you Well that's first. natural human nature yes. is it? You want oh. the pup to love you. This one loves this me. This one loves me. I'm taking it. Yeah or the yes. kids choose it. Yes. But by doing that you're getting a pup that's very forward going so it's happy to get jump over all litter mates to get to a stranger before anything mm. else. So that is fine if you want a dog that's going to be forward going. That Very you're going confident. To, have to do agility with or training classes mm. or maybe even more challenging to you if it's not recognising your sort of authority within the home um, moving forward. So absolutely, I would... I would make sure maybe you choose the pup middle of the road. But also ask the breeder because the breeder will have an idea, obviously spending so much time with these pups, yeah. which pup has yeah. which certain temperament and, and let the breeder have more of an input into that. That's yeah. a really good sign yeah. that they really care about where that puppy's yeah. going. And a good breeder should be vetting you yes. and saying, are you the right Owners owner for pup. my pup. Do you work full yeah. time? What are you going to do? Mm. And I, some breeders can go over the top. Can't we've they? had and pages and pages of contracts that we've looked through thinking, oh my <laughs> goodness, yeah. wow. Feeding goat's milk and scrambled egg and all sorts of, <laughs> okay, you can live with that. But again, the sign of a really good breeder. So it's choosing, finding the sort of pup that, um, the, the breed, breed for the, you, the, for you. Mm. really researching into your breeder, maybe getting testimonials, anything like that from, from a good breeder, choosing a breeder that vets you as well, so you're getting a, a breeder that cares, mm. um, and then those breeders will definitely be able to character sort of um, match, match with yeah, your, match with your you lifestyle yeah. and your family. It's really um, important. Yeah, so then that sort of sets you off on the best path, really, um, and then we can look at those sort of first few nights and things that to things to buy in order to make that transition from breeder to your home as sort of as easy as mm. possible really mm.